Welcome everyone. Out of the woo here as the recording of this Friday, July 29th. The month is almost over, 2022. I am on my way heading out of Celebration, Florida. Going to be heading westward over to the St. Pete, Tampa area, where tonight we'll be going to a wearing appropriate hat, Tampa Bay Rays and shirt. We'll be going up against the Cleveland Guardians this evening, which I think since they changed their names to the Guardians is the first time they have played the Rays at Tropicana Field. So that'll be pretty exciting, meeting up with some friends. It is only around noon currently, and I am leaving so early just because I want to avoid the traffic later on a Friday afternoon, either on Interstate 4, but I might even take a couple different routes to avoid the traffic. But I'm inviting you to join me throughout the course of this day. Also, I have my little backpack here because I am getting a hotel in the Tampa St. Pete area, staying one night, just, just one night away from home. Join me, shall you? I just realized during the intro, I probably should have had my sunglasses on. The sun was pretty bright shining in my face, but I didn't. Walking through Savannah Square here, which is one of my new favorite spots here in Celebration. A little pathway of trees down there. The nice soothing sounds of the water. Yeah, Savannah Square. Dare I say, besides Lake Reinhard and, you know, the Market Street, Water Street area, this would probably be one of my new favorite little peaceful spots to just relax, contemplate, do some thinking. Of course, right now I'm just passing through. I've got somewhere to be. And because I'm not going to be gone long, you know, just the one evening into tomorrow, I'm not really packing too much. Also, this is not a, this is a DVC book bag or a backpack, but I call it a book bag, but really it's, I guess it's a backpack because there's no books in here. My laptop's in here. Change of clothes, things like that. Laptop kind of weighs it down, but yeah, everything's in this little one little bag. And getting a little fuel here from the 7-Eleven. $3.87 a gallon. Art Deco 7-Eleven here in Celebration. I always like the look of this place. Pretty awesome. Looks like something out of Hollywood. Art Deco, I believe is what they call it. And with what I expected, kind of par for the course for I-4 westbound, pretty backed up. It clears up a little bit, you know, a couple miles up, but I got to get inside that. Usually I go over it to get into Disney, over this little overpass, but now I have to get down on I-4 westbound and get in this mess. At 1226, departing from here and heading over, hour and 47, hour and 46 minutes. I think it's going to get a little worse as the day progresses. So even when I go do a home game for the Rays, it's kind of like an away game for me. It's a hike. And from this angle, get a pretty good close-up view of the one and only, the iconic Mickey Power Pole. And I'm not slowing down. I'm stopping. Well, I am slowing down. I'm stopping because this is how where traffic stops. I'm waiting behind another car here to keep moving up. Slow going. At least for a few miles till I get past this little construction area where it's all backed up. There it is, close up of the power pole. Also just off the road over there is a grounded boat. Used to be a restaurant or something. Now it's just sitting there, not being used. Traffic's starting to get pretty thick again over here near the fairgrounds. But I wanted to show this raise up banner right here on the side of this hotel. All right, I'm stopping off here on Del Mabry Boulevard in Tampa at the Baseball Card Clubhouse, sports cards and memorabilia. See what I can find inside this little shop. I'm trying to get my baseball card collect collection back up to par. Looks like they also have other, you know, hockey, basketball, football. I'm going to go in and check out some baseball cards, see what they got. Okay, I didn't find too much in there that was really up my alley that I was looking for, but I ended up getting some top loader stuff, some penny sleeves. I learned that's the, that's the new term for these. I've kind of been out of the baseball trading, baseball card trading game for a while, but penny sleeves. Also went with this Carlton Fist second year. This Hank Aaron. 75 a 74 highlights one and this george brett which i think is like a third third year george brett nothing too too fan no nothing too crazy or fantastic or nothing too amazing but yeah i got a few here 
from inside. Baseball card clubhouse. Honestly, they just had a lot more newer cards than they had vintage ones. Vintage ones are kind of more at my, up my alley, but I was also looking for raised cards, Tampa Bay raised cards. They didn't really have a lot of those either, which was kind of surprising. Okay, checking in the hotel. Second floor. Also, the guy at the baseball card shop was saying a lot of places don't even have vintage cards anymore. A lot of our newer cards and autographs are really big right now. Not really into autographs so much, but he says most of the time getting vintage cards, you're better off just going online to purchase them. But I kind of like buying stuff from stores. All right, my room is over here somewhere. And when I checked in, he asked how many people were in my party. I said, oh, it's just me. So I'm gonna give you an upgrade, free upgrade. I don't know what it was upgraded from, but yeah. This is the room, right here. There is a little bit of a squeaking noise coming out of the bathroom. Kind of adds to the ambiance, but I am very content. But there is a Keurig here in the room. And this isn't too far from Tropicana Fields, only a few minutes. I think the water's running too. And I just looked it up, eight miles to the trot from here. So about 15 minutes. I'm guessing that this photograph is St. Pete. Somewhere in St. Pete would be my assumption. Nice. Brewing it up in the room. found parking over in this area but I was noticing the street here is called happiness it is. I think I don't think that's the official name of this road but it does say happiness right there it's only about a block away from the trial and this is a night game 7 10 first pitch I believe and yeah, the weather looks pretty good so it's probably just not gonna rain but it is gonna be nice that it's gonna be inside the dome cool 72 degrees always and over there you got the where it says Tropicana field that little, little pillar also, Ryan didn't give me this. I haven't tried Big Lee Chew in a long time. And not only Big Lee Chew, but also the ground ball grape flavor. Yeah, oh, we got, got, the, got the arrow here. We got 13 seconds to cross. So I'm chewing on some Big Lee Chew, a little grapeage. And one thing I've learned, well, I didn't learn. I was taught, I was told, you, you both taught me this. I taught you some Tampa J, what did I Chris the girl that if you just go a block or two away from the, the $25 parking, it's about half the price. So, Ten bucks. yeah, we a couple blocks back, $10. You're welcome. That's a little hack that you guys you guys let me know about. Thank You're you. You're welcome. Saved me like 15, 15 bones. That'll buy a hot dog and a soda, right. almost. At least a hot, at probably, least a hot dog. Probably a hot dog. And you have the DJ Kitty yeah. paw. DJ Kitty paw. Nice. Paws up. Raise up and pause up. We're gonna catch some foul balls and maybe some DJ Kitty. Uh, You're gonna catch a foul ball? Maybe. I didn't bring my we're kinda, goal. We're kinda in that area. It might be a home run. Hopefully. Okay, Jay's telling me the official, I knew this, but you're reminding me that world the famous, the world official, official raised bar is Ferg's. Ferg's, right. And I'm gonna yeah. teach you something, Tampa Jay. There is a walkway when did that, get that goes underneath here over to Ferg's. No way. You can walk underneath it. They, they had to do this last week. You didn't no even way. know it. They did it last week. Look at this. It's very <laughs> futuristic looking with the little lights going through here. Oh, it's like. Star Wars. Yeah, this is pretty neat. So you go this way, and this will take you up, kind of, sort of, to Ferg's, or to some droogies from Clockwork Orange, and just a random Brillo pad. And did you know about this? There's a home plate here from 93, Baltimore Orioles, St. Louis Cardinals, the Dome Stadium, renamed the Thunderdome, gets its first big league tenant, the Tampa Bay Lightning hockey team, which is now the Trop. I, I did know that, but I didn't know there was a plate here that commemorated it. I didn't know that either. All right, and there is a new B. You're not a B, but you're a newbie. B. You're going to be going inside the trop. First time. First one's here. First one here. <laughs> but you love baseball. Wait, I wasn't the first one here. Technically. Ryan was the first one here. That's true. Ryan got here. Now, Ryan, you're sporting your... The team you root for, your former hometown, the Indians, the Cleveland Indians, now called the Guardians. Different team. Different team. Last time you were here with us, yep. 
you ended up wearing a different jersey, same team, however. Oh, you got the glasses. You got the Vaughn glasses on again? <laughs> Very nice, little Pure wild. Charlie Sheen. A little, a little wild thing. Wow. Okay. Like a Vatican assassin. But aimless adventures, welcome to the trop. Thank you. Welcome to the Rays, even though you usually root for the Braves. It, well, it I, rhymes. I needed an AL team, so you're wearing the right shirt, man. That's yeah. it. Look at this. I don't even have one of these like polo shirts. That's, That's nice. because you got to go to more thrift stores. And we're all standing in the shade, it feels good right waiting there. for That's the gates to open. How thankful are we to have a dome here in St. Pete? Oh my gosh. So nice. Right when we walk in there, I'm just going to get down on my knees and say thank you. <laughs> now, since the All Star break, the Rays have not been doing that good. They've lost several of their last few. They won one, but they've lost a few of their last four or five. They are now down to third place in the AL East. And I'm hoping they can get back on track. And really, right now they're still in the race for the wild card, but they, they, gotta, they gotta get a little momentum here. And I'm kind of hoping being back at home after an away stand to get kind of get back on track. I just hope so. All right, have made it through the checkpoint. And just like that, even before going inside the dome, inside the trop, which is short for Tropicana Field, nice little shaded area right here. Now, a lot of, a lot of guys from the Rays are on the IL. In fact, Kiermaier, over on the end, they just announced he is not going to be playing the rest of the season. He's on the IL. Wander Franco, I think, is on like either the 60 or the 90. And then, of course, Shane McClanahan is not injured, but he pitched in the All-Star game last week. And, you know, the All-Star game is usually kind of a tipping point for the rest of the season. The team bounce back from it really well because there's like, you know, a five or six day game off series and hope the Rays can kind of bounce back. But yeah, Randy, Randy's in the lineup tonight, I believe. And our entire group is going to be sitting out here. I think a 138, back row of 138 is kind of right back here. And I mentioned, I told Tampa Jago, we're sitting in 138, and he brought up the Misfits. We are 138, which is a good way to remember it. And inside the store, you know, one of these days I am going to get a jersey. I like the darker color, and I like the light blue, and then also the, just the traditional one there, too. But this is over in the Bay Republic. You can get your name on the back of these. $135 just for the jersey. I think it's extra to put the name on it. And speaking of someone else that's not going to be playing the rest of the season, and Mike, Mike Zunino is also on the IL. Got a cash jersey. A lot of these I don't have. This is a G-Man, I think. Actually, is this a G-Man? Yeah, there's a G-Man. One of these days I'm going to get I'm going to get all the jerseys. I have Phillips. And this is kind of interesting, too. Brujan came up from AAA from the Durham Bulls for a little bit, but he's been sent back down. He was doing pretty good, but they, they sent him back down. Josh Lowe is up you know, from AAA, and he's been, uh, Brujan was sent back down, but they have his jersey. Quite a few Randy shirts down here, different color schemes. Got the Wander. I actually have this gray Wander. And now it seems there's a lot of teams. They do the MLB Jam, kind of like NBA Jam. You got Franco in a Rose Arena. And this kind of retro looking, almost like a cartoon version that one. There. Oh, look at this. They even have a World Series cap for 2020. I mean, if they make it to the World Series again, that would be awesome. And it looks like Cleveland is doing a little batting practice down there. Yep, hitting the ball around, getting warmed up down there on the diamond. Oh, no, this guy's trying to practice a little bunting down there. So sometimes they'll swing for the fences and other times a little bunt. Okay, that's more of a swing. It's just changing it up. First a bunt, then try to get a base hit, then swing for the fences. And right now, just kind of doing a lap around the stadium. We're sitting over in right field, kind of over in extreme right field over underneath the Tropicana Pure Premium sign. Now over at the snack bar area on either the first or third base side, you can end up getting this refillable mug, which is only $14.99. You get this refillable mug and you can refill it all game. I decided to go ahead and get it. I haven't been drinking a whole heck of a lot of soda, but I have been drinking some soda. But I figure if I'm gonna do it, I might as well go all in. In fact, look at this. There's a there's some there's a whole new delivery of the drinks here. You also went with a little cap. You changed your cap. I did. I changed it up. You bought a Rays cap now. Finally, I'm legit. And it's the OG logo. Yeah, it is the Devil Rays cap. And there's also the little smaller Rays Republic stores on the first and third base lines as well. See what's inside here, but you can see this little mural here stating Rays Republic. Yeah, and a few of these items I've never seen. Like, I've never seen this tie-dyed shirt over here. That's like a new item, I believe, as well. That tie-dyed, this is the one I'm wearing tonight right there. And then over there at the end is another one, which I've never seen. i got to walk over there. Yeah, there's like a sweet Hawaiian shirt there and a Raise Up shirt. A Hawaiian shirt, I wonder how much that is. And here's kind of a retro cartoony version of Tropicana Field. I have that one over there in the corner, but I do not have this cartoony version. Also, this here, I was just talking about the collared one, $120. 120 Doing the cow, you're going to cowbell it up? Yeah, I was at uh, Max's uh, School of Cowbell, and uh, this is uh, I'm at the, beginner, yeah, I'm the beginner stage. So All I'm right. moving up for you, Max. All right. 
they ball. Let's go, Rays! And it looks like the Rays are wearing their light blue tonight. And the game has begun. I'm noticing sitting over here in 138, we might be able to move up a little bit. We're sitting in the last row, but there's really no one in this section. Oh, oh, oh that was an error. error. First batter, an error. But there's no drink holders. There's no drink holders here. Also, Jay and I sat out here during the ALDS. It was like right over there. Yeah, and you brought your glove. Show, get I a got my glove here. Just in case. Signed by Brett Phillips. Yeah, just in case uh, they hit a home run out here. Well, actually, it'd be a foul ball. We're, we're to the side of the foul pole. You can protect everyone in this back. That's row. right, I got your face here. Thank you. Right there. Now, speaking of a ball hitting your face, Josh last night in right field, he was in Baltimore, and he kind of got lost in the clouds and the sun, and the... <laughs> The ball hit him in the face and it ended up being the Orioles got an inside the park home run. What are the odds that we're gonna move down a little farther? I think the odds are pretty uh, pretty small. There's no one in front of us. It's a pretty decent sized crowd for Tropicana Field. Definitely not packed, and they don't even sell the upper deck seats, except during playoff time. You can sit next to me. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a decent for a Friday night. Not packed, but decent. Now the last home game I was at was about maybe two weeks ago. Nah, ten days ago. I was sitting up there with everyone. We were up in the party deck, and I did not have any snacks. I did not need a hot dog. I was did pretty well that night. But tonight, I think I'm gonna have a. I think I might have a little snack here at the ballpark. Oh, look at that! Oh, it's a foul ball. Foul ball. Give him a little toss. Someone's gonna get themselves a little souvenir. Man, short. G-Man Choi! G-Man Choi! G-Man Choi! G-Man Choi! Think he can hear us all the way back here? I think so. I think he, I think he just nodded and said, thanks, thanks fellas. Hey guys, thank you. That's what he said. How he talks? Yeah, it's exactly how he talks. Cowbell Max is here. I don't know if everyone's gonna recognize me. I got, yeah, I ain't got the beard now, but baby face cowbell. All right, someone else there ringing their cowbell. I think Max has the ultimate cowbell though. It's good to see Max over there. Oh yeah, you can hear Max. And also, there's no one sitting here. We've kind of shifted seats a little bit, just to give a little more room for us through here. Get a little stretching space. A little elbow room. Just want to show the lineup. Out of everyone that's in the lineup, how many are from Durham Bulls that got called up because a lot of guys are on the I.L. So Diaz, in the, who was, you know, originally started the season, so did Brandon in the Rosarina and Choi. But Paredes got called up, Josh Lowe, Bethancourt, Quinn, and Chang all called up from AAA. So pretty much two-thirds of the team are the Durham Bulls, which will be nice when I finally go to Durham. I'll know a lot of the players when they get, you know, when the other guys come back. So it'll be fun going to Durham A Triple A. All right, worked up a little bit of an appetite. Got the course of the day. I'm ready finally for some food late in the evening here at Bird and Batter First Base Food Hall. And this is what we're dealing with. Went with some salted roasted peanuts with the Ray's logo on there, Hampton Farm. Also went with some chicken tenders and some fries under there. And a Nathan's hot dog, which is inside there. You'll see that when I get back to my seat. So I kind of loaded up. I didn't eat all day on purpose, but I knew I was going to have like a little bit of a cheat moment here. So this is what I'm eating for the whole day. Not healthy at all, but you know, it's fun. Wind in Rome. All right. You just got a baseball yes, from... Yes, from this very happy robot right here. All right. Yeah. So I saw this earlier. I thought it was just like a little storage area, but I guess you put your credit card info in there and they give you a baseball. Yeah, you just tap you the just top tap your card and on then top. it opens the lid. Yeah. And then it says, please take one. Nice. Then you just watch it. tap your credit card right here. Oh, okay. A little souvenir. And I should also mention there are ketchup folk and there are mustard folk. Mustard folk. I am team mustard when it comes to dogs. I'm team mustard. All right, Cleveland just got a double. I got a guy on second. Got a hot dog. What would you get? Chicken tenders? I got chicken tenders and a dog. All right, I just realized I might have gotten too much food just because yeah, I think my eyes are bigger than my stomach. I can't finish these fries, so I got a bunch of. Oh, they bunted. Stadium cheers. Guardians just got a home run out to right center. 
I think more people are here for the Guardians than they are the Rays. I didn't notice it until that home run just happened, and this place just kind of got loud. And the bullpen is even a little more activity. And I have started tapping into the peanuts now. All right, I was not able to eat all my peanuts, so Tampa J. Thank you, sir. Has decided to take that my very the peanuts off. I, I'm full. That's very interesting. I'm gonna enjoy this. One peanut at a time. Just grab it over there. Good. See, I, I got my eyes on the game. I don't even have to take my eyes off the game. I feel like something needs to happen. This is your first Rays game. The Rays are not pulling it together yet. They're no. down three to one. Yeah, someone does have a French horn over there. They're blowing. It's really about the only thing you hear in the stadium. You can hear a pin drop or a French horn being played. Kind of behind the Rays dugout over there. I have an uneventful game in the stands. Yeah. And on the table. Oh, that's a oh, that's a foul ball. Someone's got to give themselves a little souvenir. Now, if you were Kevin Cash right now, what would you do to rally up the fans? What would you tell them in the dugout to say, give them a little inspiration? Pretend you're Kevin Cash. I'd say, listen, fellas, we're all professionals here, and we got a postseason to make, so suck it up, Buttercup. Let's do this. I like that. You should, you should apply to be on the coaching staff. I'm sure that'll happen. All right, Cleveland scores again. RBI is now four. To one. All right, I walked back over to the snack bar to the refresh station. I really did not feel like getting another soda, so I opted for a smart water. I feel like I've had too much soda, even though I could get a free refill. I kind of feel like my body is saying, you should drink some drink of water. So I got a smart water instead. It might make me a little more intelligent, which I could definitely use. All right, it is now bottom of the eighth. Four to one. Top of the order up. Close to top of the order up. Got to make something happen here. In my opinion, it needs to happen now or never. We've got Brandon up to play in a Rosarina, Choi, and Paredes. Power four. Oh yeah, there it is. Hustle it, come on. Now I thought for sure Brandon was going to get to first on that one, especially with the first baseman bobbling the ball. Just didn't get there in time. Brandy's up to the plate. Now this place is clearing out also. Oh, that's like a little foul there. Somebody's got a little souvenir. Oh, a little bounce. It's in the ninth inning now. Bottom of the ninth. You're not happy? You're not happy right now. I'm happy, but I'd like them to be winning. Yes. Bottom of the ninth. No outs. Parade is up. They are down four to one. If they come back, it'll be amazing. One. And it is strike two to Paredes, and that's strike three. Hustle it out, man. Hustle it, safe. What? Guy on first one out. Come on. That's the double. That's the game. Knew that was going to happen. Knew that was going to happen. All right, step back outside now. Heading out. Heading back to my car. Now, you, do you think that there was any possibility why the Rays lost because you shaved your facial hair? Honestly, I'm gonna attribute all these losses to the fact that we've had more injuries than any other MLB team in MLB history, and we're basically the AAA Rays right now. Yeah. Basically the, the AAA Rays. Okay, I was thinking of the joke I was thinking, not joke, but the way the, the triple Rays. Not the triple A race, the triple race. That has a better ring to yeah, it. Yeah, that was it. All right, Max. Take care, buddy. See you next time with a win. Peace out, YouTube. All right, and that's going to do it for today from Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Rays lose. Still a fun time hanging out with friends. Ate a hot dog, ate some snacks, had a beverage, a Coca Cola, had a water, had some peanuts. Good times. And I don't, have to, I don't have to drive back to Celebration tonight because I got a hotel. It's eight miles away. So it'll be a short commute and it's something I've never done before when I've gone to a Rays game is actually go right back to a hotel instead of driving an hour and a half back to Celebration. Two hours if traffic's bad. Sometimes it is. But tonight, short commute. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over. Oh, and take a look over here. That, that tunnel we showed earlier is all illuminated blue.